All right, everybody, welcome back into the Golden Tea Lounge. Kevin Lindsay here. It is Thursday, but by God, does it feel like Monday right now? So we are going to blow off some steam with today's Throwback Thursday Daily Contest on Cypress Cove. $1,697 in the prize pool today. Thanks for joining us, whether you're watching on Facebook Live, Twitch TV, or YouTube. Always glad to have you here. Got a brand new track ball in the Golden Tea Lounge, which means I don't have much of an excuse when I start hitting shots off the beaten path. Although, I am missing a screw, so let's see how that works for me. But, Cypress Cove, a 2008 course, sometimes is uh, getting a little beat down from the rain, but it looks like clear skies at least to kick things off here in hole one. Like I said earlier, $1,697 in the prize pool total. Uh, 32 under by Joe Massara. Crazy score there in first place. 30 with 30 under in second place. A 29 in third, and then a handful of 28s and 27s. So, looks like we have our work cut out for us today, but we've got some time. Let's play a couple games and see if we can put together some good scores for you all. Completely forgot to check before I actually took off on T1, on hole one, T box one, but don't plan on using the zero hybrid at least for this first set. It's been a while. I do enjoy Cypress Cove, but it's been such a long time. I don't remember if that club's needed or not. It's not in our bag, so hopefully that means I was smart enough back in the day to default my build a bag that uh, has two drivers and some wedges. And as always, grab your golf balls. You can check that information all um, on the live stream underneath me, probably about like right oh, like there, something like that. Well, doesn't really matter. But underneath the Golden Tee 30th Anniversary logo, you can check out all that information. From what I remember about Cypress, I think there is a hole or two that um, having the zero hybrid is not the worst thing in the world, but... That's why we normally play three to four or five games list because it gives us some time to figure that out. Ten and a half degree driver, important as always, especially on this hole for the par five. Get a little kick up the ground. Up five, 42 feet away, so we're gonna click left one, we're gonna click right one. Right back to the center, it says up five. That means we're going straight to the center of the cup. Make sure our friends from YouTube and Twitch and Facebook are here. It looks like you guys are all here. So uh, thank you for joining. All right. And then it looks like some of you just got in now. So we'll just go through this really quick. Throwback Thursday, Cypress Cove, $1,697 in the prize pool. So far, so good. Brand new track ball in the Golden Tea Lounge. Missing a screw, but it sounds smooth. It feels good. That track ball after uh, last year and this year's real-time rivals, uh, there's a lot of shots that have been uh, beating that thing up over the last couple of years. So hopefully this new track ball is the keys to victory for uh, for us here in the Golden Tee Lounge today. Super, super Spin 6 Iron is going to be perfect for this hole right here. Oh, just a little bit to the left. Please feel free, as always, tag your friends, throw a couple comments on the stream if you have questions about this course, uh, tomorrow's Freaky Friday contest, Classic Course of the Week, anything Golden Tea related. Always happy to, to talk about it and answer your questions here, but share this video, uh, whether you're on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitch, share it on other social platforms as well. The more you guys share, the more we are able to reach new people and the more uh, we are able to do things like this. So 
appreciate you guys as always. I know I think I've said this last few weeks, but it's been a while since we've done one. Uh, have not done a Throwback Thursday giveaway in a while, but feeling generous. So we are going to do one today. I promise you, as soon as this live stream is over, whether I'm in a good mood or bad mood, check out Golden Tea's Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Golden Tea. And uh, follow the instructions there for your chance to potentially win some sweet Throwback Thursday giveaways. Uh, we've got a lot of old school marquees, world championship towels. I don't know if you guys can see these back here, kind of. These towels right here um, will come in very handy when playing a lot of Golden Tea. Hole 9 of Cypress Cove, awful hole when it came out in 2008. Even worse now that there's tees because at least back in the day you look at this and go, well, I've got no chance of making that. Let me figure out how to approach for birdie. Now, I sit here and go, eh, you know, I might be able to finagle a three wood. Let's, uh, so let's see what happens. Look at that. And I was able to finagle a three wood to maybe have a putt. This is going to be a long putt. Uh, if this goes in, I will be very shocked. 112 foot putt for Eagle. Left six, but it's got a little turbo kiss. Uh, not sure how that went in, not sure why it says 110 feet on the screen, but hey, important thing is hole nine is reachable with um, a three, three wood high. Always stay hydrated while playing Golden Tee, folks. Hole 10, uh, unfortunately, I don't think anybody is driving this one on the green in one. Uh, if you do, please, I would love. Oh, just kidding. I was wondering what happened there. Um, I take that back. Maybe somebody with the streaks can get there if you get a, a nice couple of bounces or two. Um, but please, feel free to send that shot to YouTube. I would love to see if somebody actually made it there uh, in one of these crazy games that... Uh, Joe or Evan or Seth or Andy or any of those guys end up putting up new trackball. I'm going to blame that missed chip on the new trackball. Let's let's go with that. Cypress Cove is one of those courses from back in the day that uh, is always fun to play because there's so many tee boxes that that vary in size and stuff. You can see that from the top down view there. Um, changes up your game every single time you play these courses and uh you know jim Zelinski and the team have done a good job over the last couple of years uh bringing some of that that flair back and having those rare you know varying tee boxes and all kinds of stuff like that so this is a course i look forward to uh, whether i see it in class course of the week throwback thursday or, or whatever the case even freaky fridays because you never know what you're going to get into with it and so far doesn't look awful. So this was the other hole I was trying to think of that uh, potentially would be the zero hybrid hole. I think we're actually just going to say skip that and we're going to use a high three wood. Probably went a little bit, uh, actually a lot too much, uh, too far out to the left. Uh, but not a bad setup here think we will be able to to eagle this one for sure when it comes to games uh two and three and then if needed four and five i was able to walk away safely on monday from Monday mix up after four games i believe well four and a quarter ish because we, we were just doing so well so hopefully i'd love to have that problem today if that doesn't describe the day that i'm having I don't know what does, but it's all good in the hood. Par uh, five, hole 15 is one that you have to, to make note of. This one, we're gonna hit a high T. Oh, I meant to do 10 and a half, but I ended up doing the three wood. Not, uh, not a big deal there, but Probably gonna have some, oh, that's not as long as I thought. This was a hole that sometimes you can get such a distance off the tee box that you're uh, you're struggling to reach there in two. But 
actually worked out. We might stick with that three wood high to just get right on over those trees. Joe Barry thing, or excuse me, JC Barry. Can't get it up to pull up on my phone, so I can't actually read these things clearly. But JC, uh, thank you for joining us. Hopefully you have some uh, good shots hitting your way when you get out there this afternoon or tonight after work. A little bit of an offset here because of this, uh, this tree right here. But we're actually just going to say, you know what? Right on over that tree. We don't need you. Fringe bounce would be perfect. Oh, almost. What else should we talk about here? World Championship, it is Thursday, the 6th, right now. So we are two weeks and a day from the World Championship where we will have two qualifying spots. The final two qualifiers determined in our closest to the pin contest on Friday, June 21st, live at the Orleans Hotel and Casino. Uh, we will be covering it live. Myself and Adam Kramer will be on commentary. A lot of fun stuff going on, but please, if you can get there, be there because we would love to have you join us. Um, I know I've said this a lot. Didn't think I'd have to talk about it a little bit longer, but promise you there's a, a few more good reasons you don't know about as to why you should be here in uh, or with us in Vegas in a few weeks here. So, hole 16, part three. We're going to need to play a little trickier game here. I have the six iron with super spin, which might bite me here, literally. Um, I'm going to put bite on it. I'm going to pull back in between the AB and hit it a little bit to the left of the two to kind of curve it onto the green with that left 10. Hopefully I don't kick back with bite too much, which I did, but I caught the fringe. So we are still putting for Eagle. It is down nine. So we're going to pull our track ball out to the, uh, the C, but it didn't matter because, well, this green just owned us. Jerry Winters, thanks for joining us. You caught us at the perfect moment where we were just bogeying a par three. No big deal. This is actually a nice setup here. I don't know if I've seen a setup this close. You can just high T a driver and smash a C3 even if you don't get it up there, you're still going to be able to catch that green. But we're on the fairway. This also, when I first got a home edition, was a fun hole for looks like this to try to get the longest putt record. And actually, you know what? Just for the heck of it, so it could be live on the stream, we're going to do that right now. We're going to try it at least. The longest putt record of this course. Let's see if we can make it work. 135. Oh, Lou. Wow, that definitely, uh, I wish I would have caught the replay button time. I forgot how dangerous that 10 down slope is. That ball took a nice long hop off of the green. So be aware of that when trying to break the uh, longest putt records. This look here, uh, whew, this look here on 18 is going to be fun. This is definitely going to be a three game uh, day today. We are going to high tee a 10 half degree driver. We're going to high uh, tee it, pull it all the way back to the C, hit it all the way out to the three. Honestly, we just want to get it on the green. I actually didn't hit it out, but I think I discovered the perfect shot. So if you actually hit a full shot, you can get in between those two leaves there and still be on the green. We're going to have a long putt. We're gonna have a long putt, but we're putting from the fringe. Look at that, ending the game with an eagle. Um, could have been a much worse situation, but we were able to make some magic happen there. Uh, Christmas tree on the back nine for a couple of uh, looks that we were testing out. No big deal though. We've got a few more games left in us. This is just game one, so if you're just joining us like Dave Sandmeyer, good to hear from you, my friend, thank you. Looking forward to seeing you in Las Vegas. Dave was actually our closest to the pin, um, not technically contest winner because Mouth Marks Mucklets won that, but Dave Sandmeyer won the qualifying spot last year in Las Vegas. So um, he will be there as well, hopefully drinking Bush Light and uh, seeing if he can make some magic happen and qualify for World Championship again. 
No club change is needed. I think the few holes that I might might have uh, used zero hybrid on, don't think we're going to use them. Um, new achievements are out, and I have not played a lot of live games um, outside of what you guys have seen in the stream. So enjoy some of the new items that we are going to be winning along the way. And when you get out there and play your games this week, hopefully you will unlock some of that content as well. Throwback Thursday... Uh, coming up throwback thursday giveaway coming up after uh these games here probably about 4 35 o'clock nate bennett on uh youtube you and dave sandmeyer would be really good friends a uh he puts love me some bush latte so so nate hopefully you're going to be out in las vegas to uh to have some of them bush lattes with Dave Sandmeyer and the Team Wisconsin crew on their way to potential uh, world championship stardom. Uh, robbing, robbing, robbing me of great shot points as always. All good. Uh, Sergio, I would not call that a lucky drive. That was a impromptu, in, improperly planned. Let's put it that way. Wasn't the shot that I wanted to hit. I miss hit the track ball and it worked out. Now I know to hit that shot. Eric Rios, before you even ask my friend, I do not have the world championship t-shirts yet. I know that you want to see the design and I promise you I, I share that, that sentiment, but they will come soon. But maybe just for you, I might just make you wait. So we're going to try something a little bit different, probably not the best idea. Hey, that actually worked. So instead of trying to lay up short and then have a 10 and a half degree driver in, uh, if you go one more click to the right and just low tee a driver, you can just get it right in this gap. Thankfully, it stayed on that fringe and fairway. And now we got a nice little six wood. We can just punch up on the green, take advantage of that down three slope. So if you catch... The hill right there, uh, not a big deal. You still will get some spin um, trickle, that ball trickle down to the green, and then uh, get that eagle putt. Nate, I've been stuck in the middle of Illinois before, my friend, uh, so I understand your pain there. Little uh, nine and a half to redriver medium out to the uh, right of the two. Probably could go a little bit more, but I would like to avoid the water as much as possible. Mr. Dylan Widener, my friend, good to hear from you. I feel like it's been a long time. Just for you, we're gonna ace this par three. Oh, uh, uh, I guess we're not as good of friends as I thought, Dylan. Just some shot points for you, but hey, it was a good try. Um, am I going to see you in Las Vegas? I can't remember. There's so many qualifiers, so many good people that are going to be there, whether they're qualified or not. There's going to uh, it's going to be a, long, a great time. It's going to be a long week, but probably one of the only long weeks that you can say has been very fun and uh, rewarding. Jason, uh, I am a big part of production behind the scenes, all kinds of stuff for World Championships. So. Uh, not playing the Worlds, and technically as an IT employee, not allowed to. So luckily for the people out there like Andy Haas, Mark Stenmark, Evan Gossett, luckily for them, they don't have to worry about little old me. I'll just be behind the uh, commentary booth, in the commentary booth, yapping away about all these guys alongside Adam Kramer. And then when the tournament is not going on, I will be more than happy to give away a few free lessons to, uh, to some of those guys. But uh, all kidding aside, uh, for those of you attending the event, more than happy to play some games when there is some free time. Um, should be a very, very good time for all of you showing up in Vegas. All right, hole nine. Talked about this before, but there's a handful of you guys that weren't here. Um, this hole used to be so much easier when there was no gold tees available. And I mean that in the sense of I could look at this hole and go, no chance we're making it on the green. I'm just going to try to lay up on this difficult layup shot and take a birdie. But I see this and I go, huh, I can high tee a three wood to the right. 
and make it on the green. Now, that time I think I hit it a little bit farther out to the right than the first time. And I actually made my 112 foot putt. It only gave me kudos for 110, but huge green here. So 123 foot putt for Eagle. There's a chance that this goes right over the cup because of how fast it's going to be going. Oh, look at that. But somehow was able to slow it down. Uh, that time it gave me the extra foot. So 124 foot putt. Uh, there's going to be a lot of longest putt records being broken on machines uh, today just from the huge greens that Cypress Cove offers. Hole number 10, unfortunately not a good setup to drive this hole. I don't think anybody's getting there even with the streaks unless you have a lot of really fun bounces. But still a good spot here to attempt to hit an eagle from the sand. Oh, look at that. Come on. Ah, just a bit outside. Still walking away with a birdie, but not bad. Daniel Rush, unfortunately, my friend, you're going to be waiting a while on that left-handed golfer. I uh, promise you we don't hate left-handers. It's just a lot of work to, uh, to get a left-handed golfer in the game, and it's a balance of do we come out with new courses and new features or put in a left-handed golfer. So promise you that we are not forgetting about our left-handed friends just a little bit harder to do than most people think so i promise you at some point um it will happen just no idea when ruben on youtube thank you for joining us as well if you guys are new to gold tea or new to online play Feel free to go to goldentea.com, click on the find a game link or download the GT Caddy mobile app. You can customize your golfer, customize your clubs, um, deck out your golfer and cool accessories, stuff that you can't necessarily do in the game. Um, but you can also use your phone's GPS location to find a gold tee near you. It'll tell you what year it is, so you'll see whether it's 2019 or 2017, stuff like that. Shout out to my mother for uh, joining us on the live stream here. Good to see you, mother. Ben Furlan, Brian Bennett, thank you guys for joining. Hole 12 here, high tee, three wood. Uh, we cut it a little bit too much last time and ended up in the sand, so we're just going to play it safe, get on the green for an eagle. Uh, that was probably the really the nicest, uh, nicest shot that I could have hit there, but still putting on the green for eagle, 39 feet away. Up five green, and so um, Ruben, this is actually perfect for you. So a little tip that I like to throw out there, it's up five green, which means there's no left or right slope. Anytime you have an up five from a distance, probably more than 30 or 40 uh, feet, click one to the left. Notice how the up five is still there, and then click one to the right, and check out how it now became an up four right one. So even though it's not going to affect your ball too much from this putt here, just know that there is an ever so slight right break that can affect you the farther you are away from the cup. So don't recommend throwing your putt off, but just know that if you accidentally push that putt out to the right, because I've done it personally a lot and on this live stream, know that there's a very, very tiny right break towards the right side of that cup. Oh, look at Let's see if that up six. Come on, really? Lots of great shots today, surprisingly, because this Thursday has felt the most like a Monday than it has in a while. But apparently our golf game is on Thursday, Friday pace. Ruben, make sure, um, Ruben, Daniel, and Nate, make sure you guys are following us on Facebook as well, Instagram, Twitter. We do a lot of giveaways, um, fun stuff like that. Hi, T3 Wood going to be our club of choice here that one hurt a little bit um, I hit this club last time accidentally thought I was hitting a 10 after degree driver but it worked out well so that allows us to just smooth in a 10 and a half degree driver towards the green that actually looks really nice uh, for those of you guys that are new highly highly suggest especially for um, the 2017 18 and 19 courses having two drivers is going to be essential so if you look below, you can see that I'm using a 9.5 degree driver and a 10.5 degree driver. 
Uh, not really a lot of opportunities to use that 10 and a half degree driver in today's stream, uh, but you'll definitely see it uh, in tomorrow's Freaky Friday stream. Just a lot of uh, extra loft that you'll get from that 10 and a half degree driver that really can make a difference um, for some of your shots. Ended up in the rough, but that's okay. We're just going to soft and eight wood on the green. Might get some more great shot points. Ah, no love there, but that's okay. Um, Nate got a uh, Jack specific golden T plug and play, probably the original one. So you're looking at like 2002 or three. Um, that's pretty, that's funny. That is, uh, you're definitely going to want to get out there to a golden T 2019 cabinet and uh, play it. It's the experience is completely different. Uh, Ruben, if you go to um, facebook.com slash golden T or any of those social media platforms, we're at golden T as the username. So if you could just type, if you just type in at symbol uh, golden T one word uh, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Twitch, you should find us pretty quickly. Uh, also the links actually should be, if you're watching on YouTube should be in our header, there should be links to our other social medias or at least our other web pages to get to those. Joe Senegalia, hopefully I'm saying that somewhat right. I'm awful at uh, pronouncing names. Uh, getting a 2019 from a buddy in a few weeks. Haven't played since the four days. Seems like a lifetime ago. Don't even know where to start with live. Actually, that's perfect. Promise you, I'm not lying to you. Go to the Android or Apple store, depending on your device, what kind of phone you have or iPad. Download the GT Caddy app, create a player account and then build a bag. If you spend the $5 to build the bag below, I promise you, as somebody who played back in the day, you will be much better off than trying to just use the uh, the casual set that they give you as a new golfer. And actually, if you go back to any of our Facebook or YouTube previous streams, I try to do these at least two or three times a week over the last couple of months. Um, you can watch Throwback Thursday streams, you can watch Freaky Fridays, uh, I try to offer some good advice. You're gonna have, you're gonna see the wide range of Kevin emotions from really happy Kevin that hits a hole in one live stream to sad, angry Kevin that wants to punch John Daly in the face behind me, but I can't because he's cardboard. Uh, but it is nice because I'm a decent player. I'm a good player, but I don't play a lot. So you guys get to see all sides of it. And uh, I've actually had a lot of you guys reach out and thank me which is still so weird to me to have the opportunity to do this, but I enjoy it, it's fun, and hopefully you guys get to learn some stuff together with us. Awesome, Joe, good to hear. All right, so hole 17, I have a really good game going. I really should probably just go for the 27 under, but I'm going for the longest putt record. Uh, hole 17, this par five, having a pin down the green like that is actually the perfect uh, set up when I uh, first bought my home edition years ago This was a course that I went to just specifically banged games away to get to hole 17 to try to have the chance at The longest putt record. So since we're having fun, we're just gonna try it again um, I had a hundred and thirty something foot putt the last game and it just flew right off of the of the cup Actually flew right off of the green is what I meant this time down 10 left to 147 foot Robbie, I'll answer your question here in a second. When I boom, right in the cup, 147 foot putt, if that's not the record for the month, I'm gonna be heartbroken. So yes, Robbie, on Facebook, I do smell what the rock is cooking. So thank you for catching the, the player nickname reference. I actually feel very accomplished for making a 147 foot putt. Don't know why, but hey, I do. All right. Hole 18, not the nicest setup for all of you out there, but I have figured out a solution. My original setup that I was gonna hit on my first game was I was going to tee all the way to the top right, high tee 10 and a half, and I was gonna just hit a C3. What I accidentally hit was I pulled out to the C and hit it just right of the two, what the, the pro guys call a full shot. So you're basically cutting, going up against that wind, Somehow I managed to get it in between the leaves on this tree and basically landed right on the fringe near the cup for like a 30 foot putt. Because I'm doing so good, it's probably not gonna happen, so apologies in advance, but we're gonna see if we can make this happen again. 
Oh, wow. So that was actually, I wouldn't say perfect, but that was actually almost better than my first attempt. Except I almost would have preferred to be on the fringe. So, uh, Joe, Nate, some of the other guys that are, are jumping back into the game after not playing for a while. Down seven putts, actually anything down five or more, a lot of the players will pull the track ball back to the C. It just slows the roller down. It's it's weird. It doesn't always, I don't know why it works, but it sometimes works. So for this down seven, right three, we're just going to pull it to the C and then just throw it on out there. Finish with a 27 under. I have to say, for not playing Cypress Cove in a long time, uh, I'm actually really proud of that. So, but it's only game two. I can't leave you guys hanging like that. Let's see if we can find our way into the bottom of the cup on some of those par threes. Uh, that's where the super spin clubs are really going to uh, to help you some of those uh, and some of those weights. So both of those par threes, I think, hole eight and hole twelve, or whatever the case was, both of those, I think, I was actually an inch or two away from the cup. Which in the daily contest, for a contest that has the same setup for 24 hours straight, it's really going to make a difference, especially as you guys that are newer, join back in. Oh, see, it shows me the record on this machine, but I want to see the national world records. I want to see if the people's champ is up there at 147.17 for the, the entire record. Um, but the daily contest is a perfect learning tool for all you players out there. I honestly learn a lot about my style of play just doing these live streams for you guys a couple times a week. Because what happens is the daily contest is a 24 hour contest same setup across the board, same win, same pin, pins, same everything. Great shot points on hole one, always a good sign. But uh, for those guys that are just getting back in the game or maybe you played casual for years and now you're trying live and, and trying to mess with prize play, uh, playing the daily contest where you're going to have the same setups for 24 hours and you play as many times as you want is going to be beneficial. Um, when I used to play, you know, before I started at IT, I would play five to ten games anytime I went out of the daily contest just to help myself get better. And obviously, you know, having the daily contest that pays out 300 spots deep is always helpful as well. So even for those new guys, you know, like I said, 300 spots deep each pay each daily contest, especially on Fridays when we have the Freaky Friday where it's you know three, four, five thousand dollars in the prize pool. Those bottom. 100 prizes are still pretty deep. You're still going to get some of your money back and you're going to be getting better at the game. So um, before I forget, all of you that have said nice round, I appreciate it. I wasn't ignoring you. I was just trying to finish my jibber jabber thoughts before I forgot them. Let's hope that we can shoot a 27 under with 30,000 great shot points. Um, I think I had 22 or 23 that first or that second game. So let's see if we can make some magic happen. Hole four, the par five. Um, low T, nine and a half degree driver. Don't go all the way out there. Just kind of throw it out there. Halfway to the B, halfway to the, or excuse me, halfway to the C, halfway to the three. Um, not as close as I was before, but still going to have a nice shot here with the three wood. Didn't catch the green, so I'm going to have a longer putt. But nothing, uh, nothing we can't drain from, uh, you know, 30, 40 feet away. Hole five. Nice little setup here. I'm not going to even worry about moving my tee. Honestly, if you wanted to, you could. You know, just for the heck of it, we're going to move it over. Leaving it at the medium height. I put bite on it. We're going to pull the our hand back to the left of the B and then push the track ball out to the left of the three. Don't crush or anything. You just kind of want a nice little gentle push. Honestly, could have probably pushed that over a little bit farther to the left. But again, advice I wish I listened to more growing up playing this game and I wish I listened to now, even when I'm not live streaming or when I'm live streaming. If you have the opportunity for Eagle, you can get it on the green from a safe distance and feel comfortable with your putting from 15, 20 feet away. Focus on that. Holding out is great. Hitting a hole in one on a par three or par four or even a par five is amazing. And YouTube and the internet and social media will love you for when you upload those shots and send them to us. But if it's a matter of beating your buddies, whether you're playing for fun or for money or just, you know, enjoying yourself, 
focus on, you know, yes, there's chances, there's certain shots like this. I think, okay, I can hold this out, but this is a big green. So I don't care if I accidentally hit it too short or hit it too far because I'm not, I don't have to worry about the elements of water or sand or anything like that. So just for you guys that are getting back into it and stuff, just make sure that you're thinking more about your elements around you. Um, just like this, I hit a little bit farther, not a big deal, no great shot points, but I'm still putting in for birdie. Just uh, checking something really quick. No big deal. And then again, uh, actually, it's been a while since we talked about this. So for those of you that just joined in the last, you know, game or two, um, Cypress Cove Throwback Thursday Daily Contest, one thousand six hundred and ninety-seven dollars in the prize pool. Um, eight hours and forty-eight minutes and counting for you left to play. One a.m. Central Daylight Savings Time. Uh, Joe Massara with a monstrous 32 under in first place. Uh, don't let that scare you, though, because uh, I love Joe, and I hope he doesn't mind me saying this, but uh, Joe is the master of the daily contest, but he also plays a lot of games on the daily contest to, to, to shoot those monster scores. So he is actually a perfect example of play more, get better, because he plays the daily contest so many times in a day that he finds those crazy shots, he can shoot 100,000 great shot points because he's he's developing the shots that will let him dominate the, the course. And then uh, Jeff Landon with a 30 under and 142,000 great shot points in second place. Um, and then a handful of 28s and 27s uh, underneath. So a lot of good scores out there, but 27 looks to be your par. But honestly, if you just follow some of my good shots here, not going to have too difficult time getting 27. Hopefully be worth, you know, $25, $20, $15 by the end of the night. Hole nine, another one of these holes without gold tee is no big deal. I think somebody had a, a, a hole in one in 2008 or 2009 on this course, on this hole. Still don't remember how he made it happen. But uh, most time you look at this hole and go, okay, I don't have a chance to get in there. Let me just lay up. And even this hole is not good for laying up. I've... Plenty of times I thought, you know what, I don't want to hit the water here near the green. Let me lay up, and then it's difficult. But with golden tees, it's still just as hard. This is actually a really nice setup. We've done it the last two times, so hopefully third time is still a charm. High T3 wood from the bottom right or the middle right, depending on how you look at it. We're going to pull it out to the C, hit it out in between the two, three. Hopefully your main goal is to get around this big rock wall right here. Just hit that puppy pretty hard, and yeah, that actually worked out. That's probably the best shot I've hit. So now I only have a 90-foot putt instead of 120. Yeah, look at that, 97 feet. Now, anything over 70 feet has uh, a chance of turboing, as they call it, where because you're hitting such a longer distance, that ball is just going to go traveling. So I didn't get it as much in that last one where I hit the 123-foot putt, but still be careful you don't want to break this like a full left five because you're hitting it 97 feet away. So I'm going to play this with an up two left five, 97 feet away. I will play this at like a left two and a half, left three. And I actually, as you get, you can kind of see it, it turboed a little bit. Um, but that time I just had a bad, a bad pullback on my putt and didn't get it out to where I wanted it. So still, a, still birdie though, not a, not the end of the world. But you are going to have to to make uh, some of those longer putts if you want to get that extra that extra stroke there on hole nine. Hole ten here, we are going to just uh, softly hit our G wedge. Just want to basically hit the fringe and let the green play it, but that's all right. Hole 11 uh, might look like a difficult par five, but just high tee that driver. 
This, this course has a lot of elevation changes between the tees, the fairway, and the green. Um, don't worry about it in this instance. And then it should give you a nice little six wood. Uh, you can probably pull that back to get it a little bit more accurate. But sometimes I fall victim to my own ways of playing golden tee since I could, you know, I was basically like this, this tall. Um, because I like to do no pullback shots sometimes. Although it got me great shot points there, which was okay. Hole 12. We're going to tee it high from the top left. We're just going to pull it out to the A and hit it straight. Actually, that was not what I want. I, I uh, unfortunately hit it out to the left. And you, as you can see, it kind of caught the... Uh, Caught the bunker there. So not the not the best game in the world. Not a big deal, though. Hole 13. Nice little five hybrid with bite. This is definitely a, an elevation change you got to worry about. If you have, uh, not on this time particularly, but if you have super spin or even partial spin clubs like I do, if it gives you an iron and other setups uh, when you're not playing the daily contest, uh, just be weary of that so you don't accidentally backspin right off of that uh, that green into the water because I, I've done it plenty of times and it's not fun. Nice little uh, driver set up here. I'm just going to hit it gently out to the left. Farther left than I wanted to, but the distance and the miles per hour on the track ball feedback meter is perfect. 98 miles an hour, just gently hits the fringe with that nine and a half degree driver and scooches up towards the pin. Hole 15, nothing crazy here. Really any way you wanna play it. Uh, just be careful if you go out this way, make sure you get it as far out there and as uh, far as possible because then you're gonna have uh, these trees here in play. So just for the sake of it, we will click one to the left and just go right around them just so you guys can see how that does. Now with that super spin, it's really gonna kick it over. Gonna have a long putt here. Thankfully went in because I couldn't handle any more missed putts, but you're probably better off laying up from behind and taking a wood into that uh, green there. Just gonna move our tee over a little bit. I'm going to, I've got a super spin six iron, so that's why I'm hitting it soft with bite. Um, you're going to want to hit it the same way. Just know that mine's going to kick back a bit more than yours, which is why I'm just hitting it pretty gently. 107 is about as good as it gets. Nothing crazy or hard there. Almost caught the fringe. Actually, if that would have caught the fringe and got a little love tap, that would have uh, that would actually been perfect. Just barely missing that out there and catching the green, but that's okay. Down eight, left six, so always pull back to that C to help slow the track ball down a bit and then go ahead and push it on out there. I wasn't gonna go for the longest putt record again on this hole, but uh, since we have no chance of shooting better than 27, I mean, might as well have fun with it for this last game here. So easily could just take this five wood and let that down slope left three play it off. I'm gonna go for the longest putt record again, if I don't already have it. Just gonna gently hit it. Oh, that's perfect. Get up there. Oh, look at that. So this better be longer than 147. Oh, come on, really? Oh, all right, well, we're gonna make this putt anyways for you guys. It's not gonna break my record. Oh, even then I couldn't do it. That's okay. Better have the 147 record. That's all I wanna see. Does the People's Champ have the longest putt record for Cypress Cove? All right, this is going to be our third and final game. There is a lot still to do for the World Championship, so I'm going to get back to work. We have a good score in there. You guys have a, a, a not a perfect game, but a good game to follow along once you get out of work and, uh, and hit the streets and play your games. Difficult look on 18 if you're just joining us. Don't be intimidated. Uh, we're going to high tee a 10.5 degree driver. High T from that top right pin position. I originally wanted to hit a C3, so pull the track ball all the way out to C, hit it out to the right. Unfortunately, um, what had happened was I ended up 
hitting it, pulling it back all the way to the C and hitting it to the right of the two. It worked out because I was able to funnel my shot in between the leaves of the trees and hit the green with a pretty easy putt for um, for eagle. So we are going to try that again. Pull it out to the C, hit it out a little bit to the two. That time I caught the tree. I was waiting for that to happen, to be honest. Probably technically an invisible leaf, but almost not really. I mean, it had to happen. This game was not as good as the other ones anyway, so uh, no harm, no foul. I won't give my artists uh, a hard time. Stay up there. All right, let's see if we can make this little uh, chip in for par. Look at that. We saved par for a score that doesn't really matter, but that's okay. So that's going to be it here. Not a good game here, but catch the second game if you somehow missed it and you're watching now jump back on there on facebook youtube and twitch when this uh cycles on over and the stream ends i'm gonna play one more only because i just want to see if i'm the longest uh putt record for cypress cove this month and then uh we're gonna get out of here uh see it's only showing me the records on this machine so i'm gonna have to check with our it net guy and see why it's happening He's ruining my uh, my style points here. 147.17, hopefully longest putt for a while, just short of my longest of 147.42. So um, from the Golden Tea Lounge, Kevin Lindsay, getting ready to get out of here. We'll be back for Freaky Friday tomorrow, and then a lot more news on the Golden Tea World Championship. So if you're coming to visit us there, make sure you go to our Facebook page and the Facebook event for the 2019 Golden Tea World Championships. Let us know if you're going or possibly attending helps us uh, with the Orleans and staffing and all kinds of fun stuff we have planned. So, the Gold Tea Lounge, Throwback Thursday, you have about eight and a half hours left to go to dominate on Cypress Cove. Kevin Lindsay here. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for joining.